hello guys welcome back again in this video we will learn how to get started with uh in creating desktop application using c plus plus and the visual studio 2019 the windows api also known as the win32 api windows desktop api and windows classic api is a C language based framework for creating the Windows application. It has been in existence since the 1980s and has been used to create Windows application for decades. More advanced and easier to program frameworks have been built on top of the Windows API. For example, MFT, ATL, and the .NET frameworks. Even the most modern Win Windows runtime code for UWP and store apps written in C++ and WinRT uses the Windows API underneath. So, there are many ways to create Windows applications, but um, the, process, the processes are mostly the same. Okay, for this video, to be able to get along with this, you need a computer that runs at least Windows 7 or later version. Um, and it's mostly recommended to use Windows 10 and um, Visual Studio 2017 upwards. So, as you can see, I've got the Visual Studio opened. If you haven't installed uh, desktop development with C, I suggest you go to the, you, you, go, you open the Windows installer and um and then download and install the desktop app development with c plus plus before you come back to the video but if you already done that then we can just get go on so first we just go to the create new project so now we've got the new project dial, um dialogue we we choose the language which will be c plus plus so as you can see We've got all the necessary, um, all the applications that you can create with the C++ language on using the Visual Studio. But we, we use the Windows Desktop Wizard. Yeah. So we, create, we go to the next. So here, what we get is uh, obviously a chance to name our project. So we can just say, um, first CPP anything I mean this is not any like anything that you want to give you or any name that's fine so we go to create okay so before we go on I would I would like to make this if you don't know anything about Visual Studio I suggest you look I mean you can Google Visual Studio it's an IDE which is an integrated development environment where you can use to build a lot of applications so if you don't know anything you can have a look at it as you can see we've got a new dialogue on um, the windows desktop project yeah and it actually is prompting us to select what type of application that we want to build so if we go here so as you can see we, we've actually got a list of application types that we can build so we will select the desktop application yeah so here we are also given we are also given like an option to select either an empty project or pre-compiled head with pre-compiled header. So whatever that you want, you can you can you you can select what you want. So in this case, I will select the pre-compiled header. Then we can we can click OK. So I'm just we just wait for it to complete the operations to com complete so as you can see now we've got the project created so as you can see we've got some files that has come up with it here so here we've got a couple of headers we've got some resource resource files here and then we have a source code here so basically we've got a first CPP which is already opened so here, it, it defines it defines the win main. This is the entry point for, for the application, and that is what opens the window. So it's got a bunch of codes which we're going to we're going to rewrite again on the next video. 
so that we understand every bit of it here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it to see what is being created so with this you can run it just as usual whatever is either pressing the F5 or just just um, running it straight away So as you can see, we've got the application run and the desktop created. So it's got a couple of stuff here. First CPP version, blah, 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 copyright, whatever. So as you can see, it's very simple. You click on the exit, then the whole thing shuts down. So what I'm going to do next is of course write this whole by this this like first CPP from scratch so that we, are, we understand whatever that is going on so I'm just gonna write the whole thing and explain everything including the um, the resource the resource files and, and whatnot so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here and continue on the next on the next video so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I suggest you do. If you have, then stay tuned for more videos. Have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Peace.